You can see the sky. The sky is looking already a little gray and snowy, I guess you'd say. But the rain is dropping, and we will see if the snow comes next. Brand new day, the sun is up. The birds and the bees are singing, shout, singing, oh. Morning guys, I am on my way to my 12 week or my first appointment at the OBGYN and I'm gonna be getting some blood work done and Keith is working from home today so he has the girls because I didn't want to take them while I got blood work. It's not really that fun for them so we are going to go to the doctor's appointment. I'm not really sure how much I can film in there but I will try to do my best. See all that right there? That is salt. It's 39 degrees outside and I'm stopped at the stop sign right now. I'm not driving yet, but it's 39 degrees and it's supposed to get like negative or like one degree later. And we're supposed to get six inches of snow. And I don't know, lately I'm just not a fan of the cold. It's just too cold for my bones, but the girls are really excited. We have a little saucer sled thing, so hopefully there'll be enough snow to plan for a little bit. So six inches, that's crazy. I'm waiting to hear the baby's heartbeat. All right guys, I got home from my doctor's appointment a little bit ago, but they didn't let me film in there. The baby's heart rate was 150. Everything is looking very, very good. Of course, I had to give some blood, which is never the favorite thing for me to do because my veins are really small and they always like roll and intertwine and usually I end up with a huge bruise, but the nurse was amazing and she got it with the first try and everything was really good. I met with a different doctor this time. They have like a few different doctors and some midwives and you meet with all of them and whoever is on call is who delivers the baby, which is fine with me. I don't have any problem or preference with who delivers the baby as long as the baby comes out safe and I know a familiar face. But I, everything is looking really good. I'm actually down 10 pounds since before I got pregnant, which they're not really concerned because they don't really look like malnutritioned or anything. It's probably just from the morning sickness. And they said to take some Unisum, which is a sleep aid, but it's also an anti-nausea medicine and some B6 for the nausea. So hopefully I can try those. And I haven't really tried any morning sickness remedies or like prescriptions yet, just because from my experience, from what I, what, what I have read, it's not really safe during pregnancy, but that's just my view. I rather not harm the baby and just deal with it. But <laughs> yep, everything looks really good. I love that office and the doctors, it's right by our house and the hospital that we're gonna deliver at is really close to our house too. So that is really cool. The girls were napping and I was trying to nap, but they're doing some construction outside. Not really sure what they're doing, but Presley is still napping. Peyton and Harper actually just woke up and Keith is gonna head to the gym, but we hope you guys are having a good day. It is starting to get gloomier outside and freezing. So if you're in the area, stay warm because it's cold. You can see the sky. The sky is looking already a little gray and snowy, I guess you'd say, but the rain is dropping and we will see if the snow comes next, guys. But super excited and uh, hope to go sledding with the kids. That sounds really fun as long as their cough kind of tapers off a little bit. But all right, guys, I got to get in and get my hair cut. So I'm about to head to the gym and we still have not, it reminded me, because I still have not taken this to Goodwill and we still have our other bags there, the toys, but the clothes, that's a big box of clothes that we still want to give to a shelter or Goodwill, but I thought it'd be cool, let me get to some light here, there you go, 
how cool would it be guys if you had an app and you push the button and you just sit outside your door and a nonprofit or charity or shelter comes by and picks that up immediately. Not a phone call, um, not like browsing around trying to figure out what you're going to do or worry about how much time it's going to take to you know, drop it off or where you have to go because it just seems like a hassle sometimes. It should be easier. but. Leave a comment below if you think it'd be awesome if there was an app where you pushed a button, a couple buttons maybe, not many, and somebody would come by and scoop it up that easily for free. So Peyton has been hooked on this book today. What is the book? What's the name of it? The Dress in the Window. Cool. So that's the Our Generation matching book with your baby doll, right? Yeah. She's... She's been so focused and like into this book today, which is kind of cool. Um, but she's been, like eager to finish the book. Yeah, and every um, month they get to do this raw, raw book, and they have to read. If they read 20 minutes, that's one line. 40 minutes, two lines, and then once they get to the end, by the end of the month, they get a little like coupon for a restaurant or something. So she's been really into reading and. This week we're gonna go get some chapter books at the library, which is a big step, but I can't believe it. She's like going to chapter books. That's awesome. So proud of her. All right guys, we just got the girls to bed and we are going to spend some time together because I am leaving and going out of town. Um, and you guys may have noticed that we posted two vlogs today. So um, the day before we had something come up so we weren't able to post both vlogs so um, or post the vlogs. So we went ahead and posted both vlogs today, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. So thank you guys for all the nice comments. And I wanted to share a groovy comment of the day from Summer Z and it is, can you do a house tour? So we've kind of been torn about doing a house tour and leave a comment below if more of you guys want us to do a house tour, but we are only renting this house. So I think that's why we haven't done a house tour yet. Um, but maybe we could do a house tour anyways if you guys are really interested. Uh, but this is a house that you know we don't own, we are renting, but we'd be more than happy to do a house tour so you guys can kind of see more of our, um, I guess our space and living area if you don't see it already in the vlogs. But leave a comment below, let us know what you guys think if you wanna see a house tour. But thank you, Summer, that is an awesome comment like always. That is it, I am exhausted, I'm gonna go get some rest, but remember, Believe in yourself, serve others, and stay groovy, guys. See ya!